Yeah. So let me record from now. So we will start with first with Vishwa. Vishwa, yes, uh, you tell me what is NPA? NPA is nothing but stands for a non-performing asset, which means uh, when a loan or a, any principal or any loan amount interest is not paid up to 90 days, it is considered as a non-performing asset in banking. Can you please tell again, what is NPA? NPA is a non-performing asset. When a principal or an interest of a loan is not paid up to 90 days, it is said to be a non-performing no, asset. Not up to 90 days. 90 days or more. 90 days or more, okay. And why I wanted you to repeat again, it's because you said nothing but. Okay, sir. What do you mean by nothing but? See, this is how we spoil our interviews. When you are going to tell this word, they will think that you are rather careless. Okay. This is not an ordinary talk you are going to have with your friends or others. So you must be very careful about each and every word that you are using. Because... The second question will be more or less based on the answer you have given for the first question. Okay. okay? Very good. Now, is there anybody else who can tell better way what is NPA? Kavi Ram. Yes, sir. Kavi Ram. Can you tell this in a better way? Sir, I also follow the same definition. NPA is a non performing asset. Any loans which uh, does not uh, have a interest or a capital retainment for more than 90 days, it will be declared as a NPA. Right, sir? No, no, but you are using unnecessarily some extra words, capital, this and all. There is no need for capital in this definition. Non-performing asset is an asset. That is, in respect of loans given to borrowers, where the principal, that is installment or interest, is not repaid for a period of 90 days or more from the due date, then such an account will be classified as non-performing asset. And when all such accounts are uh, totaled, that is known as Gross NPA, G R O W S N P A. Out of the total hundred rupees, uh, hundred crores advances given by the by one bank, if six crores has become NPA, the gross NPA percentage will be six percent. Now, what happens after an account has been classified as NPA? bank has to make provisions and when that provisions made are deducted from the gross NPA, you will get net NPA. So net NPA, assuming that 6 crore is the gross NPA and the bank has to provide, let us say, 2, two crores as provision, in which case the net NPA will be 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 crores. So what is the net NPA percentage? That is 4 crore divided by 100 into 100 is equal to 4%. In this example, the GNPA percentage is 6% and NPA percentage is 4%. Could you follow this? That's right. Now, next question, seniors. Um, Kabiram and Viswa only are seniors. All others are juniors. Huh? Uh, okay. Swati, you can try this question. What is NPA? Is it an asset or a liability? Sir, uh, to mention, I have no idea about it because I'm not from commerce background. I can take oh. up the last question regarding fishing and everything. Uh, I will take it. 
now this um, in npa is an asset only so what is npa it is an advance that has not been recovered so that will continue to be an asset but a problematic asset about which we are not sure about the recovery so it is an asset what is an asset an asset is uh, a property which is owned by the company uh, which can be converted into cash property or receivables receivables are also assets for example loans given by the bank to customers are called assets they are called current assets whereas house property land cars then computer other machineries they are all called as fixed assets so two classification of assets are one is fixed assets the other is non fixed assets or current assets current assets are those assets which can be converted into cash within a period of 12 months normally within a period of 12 months it can be converted into cash and uh, so the, the so the answer for that npa whether it is asset or liability the answer is npa is also an asset good um swati you wanted to take some question which question so just a minute sir i had a query when you just mentioned uh, fixed asset and current asset what is the major difference between those two fixed assets are those assets which which is not normally convertible into cash easily for example a house property computers cars and all it is not easy to make them into cash whereas loans uh, that can be converted into cash because once the money is received from the customer so they are known as current assets the other one is known as uh, fixed assets under the liabilities you will be having first item capital then profit and reserves made by the company and also next liability in respect of uh, companies is the amounts the company has to receive from others it in the case of companies dealing with say trading they will have sundry creditors that is where the amounts that they have to receive from their customers who have taken the goods on credit that is known as sundry creditors or other creditors for those people the company has given some loans so that will be coming under current liabilities the capital is shown under liabilities because business is treated as a separate entity and the shareholders are treated as a separate entity this business owes money to shareholders so that is why it is shown as a liability in the it is coming under the liability side this is a favorite question for former students and uh, yeah now um, yeah this is the point regarding the question raised by you any other doubt swati also not as of now so then what is a non current asset non current asset is non current asset is fixed assets okay okay non current assets is fixed assets that is house land building machinery cars other other things all those things are known as non current assets okay good now uh, swati which question you wanted to answer yes sir 811 Other H one, yeah. So um, 
Mm. A message is coming to your phone that you got five lakhs lottery, and they ask you to pay a pay five thousand rupees to do a link to get five lakhs to your account. What scam is this? Uh, it is a, a phishing attack, sir. Basically, it comes mm. under smishing where SMS uh, SMS will be sent to an individual uh, faking their uh, a well known identity. Mm. Under phishing, it comes to smishing. Mm. So other types of attacks which can be done are email smishing, smishing as I already mentioned. Hmm. So now the, uh, na nowadays they are inventing new ways of making frauds. New ways hmm. of making frauds. Every day they find one way or other. You know, for example, it seems many people receive, hmm. uh, and the attack is now being made on. IT people only. IT people because they have more cash. So um, it seems um, they are getting message stating that um, your your cell your cell phone is will be blocked. It is being blocked, or they are also threatened. Your cell phone uh, is being used for doing some money laundering transactions in. Mumbai, this number. So you have to pay now one lakh rupees to us immediately if you want to come out of this crisis. Like that, and all people are being threatened. And um, uh, then they start with one lakh, then they will come down to 10,000, then they will come to 1,000 rupees also. One such fellow did like that. The fraud was identified and told to police they are under investigation latest case this is the latest methodology adopted and of course uh, i am told uh, nowadays the, you receive a link uh, and if you press that link itself the details from your cell phone will be can be seen by them easily it, it, they will catch hold of your own uh, cell phone's details and uh, they will be able to know your password for your bank account and all that. So that is one thing. That's right. Now, I was coming here because um, I think I was telling to one new boy, Sayan Saha. Sayan Saha, this, yes. is, the, this is the folder I have given you. Yes. In that, you must go through this one. Clerk job role, Federal Bank. Hmm. You must go through that. Then Bankers Adda Interview. This is the book I told you. And in this book only, initially they will tell you how you can introduce yourself, like telling your name, your native place, educational qualification, then internship or practical experience, your skills and strengths. This is how you have to present yourself. I request you to go through in your home leisurely. Here you have personality related questions, like questions that can be asked regarding are you a team player? What is your ambition? Who is your brother? What is he doing? Like that. Then there are some banking questions which you can omit because we are having the list of questions they are asking in Federal Bank in the pages I have already given you. And for computer people, you have questions here. Okay, uh, what is her name? Swati. And for you also, all the questions are available here, but they do not ask such tough questions and all. They do not ask you very tough questions even from this. But then as a computer student, you must be aware of all these questions. Then personality related questions. So what questions can be asked? What are your hobbies? What is your weakness? Are you a team player? Like that. So this and then some other questions, general questions, GK questions. Who is the chief justice? Who is the finance minister? Like that. Then some other questions. What is the meaning of your name? What are your today's headlines? How important is this interview for you? This type of questions are being asked. Okay, very good. 
Now, so can you share this bankers at the PDF once again? It is there, Baba. I have given you the. I have given you. I have given you in the folder, na? In the folder, bankers at the interview is the fourth one. First okay. one is subject questions. Second questions, A two thousand twenty twenty three interview questions. Then simply bank interview questions. What I prepared. Next banker Zadda interview booklet. And following that, you have this clerk job role. Then for commerce people, commerce glossary. Then for computer students, digital products of Federal Bank. So I think since these two people are new, they can go through this. Our, uh, what is his name, that boy? Sayan Saha. Yes, sir. Please read this. Accounts and deposits. Just a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. See three down. I'm on the other thing here and over the left side. Left. Thank you. Um, Sayan Saha, please read. Yes, sir. Accounts and Deposits, Fed Mobile. Federal Bank's official mobile banking app, Fed Mobile, allows customers to access their bank account, transfer funds, pay bills, and more from anywhere at any time. Fed Mobile Lite, it's a lightweight version of Federal Bank's mobile banking app. Fed Mobile Next, it is designed for low end smartphones and devices with limited internet connectivity. FedNet. FedNet is Federal Bank's internet banking platform, which of FedNet, which offers a wide range of features, including account management, fund transfer, pay, bill payments, and more. FedBook. FedBook is a lightweight mobile banking app that is ideal for customers with basic banking needs. It allows customers to check their Account balance, transfer funds, and pay bills. But I don't know why they have got so many types. So many types of uh, apps they have. Either. Yeah, one minute. Huh? Hold on. Hello? Huh? Ah, our, our Ilian, eh? What are we, Ilian? Yeah, cha, cha, cha. Ah, uh, but I'm not Watchman, watchman, eh? Hello, Babu. Raju sir, it's a pesi ache. And the security in the paranga, our kita kurtur, our kita kurturma. Sar it's a pesi ache, our wine grains on our. Thank you. Yes, so we, we have to read loads. Huh? Yeah, loads. Please read loads. Loads. Loads is a digital saving platform that offers customer a chance to earn reward on their savings. Customer can deposit their savings into Lodza accounts and earn reward in form of point, which can be redeemed for cash, gift vouchers and more. Yeah, Lodza, uh, Lodza MP, MPOS. Lodza MPOS. Lodza MPOS is a mobile app that works on UPI platform. Merchant, merchants can now 
now forget about cash engagement and cash interaction like in case of physical bill or invoices the merchant can generate a qr code which contains all the details amount merchants account number bank name etc uh, all the details of the transaction for his customer to make a payment to him customers can simply scan the qr code and pay as far as the merchant is considered it can be operated by him his sales person or his accountant very good Oops. next next mr suporno sen please read lotsa uh, upos lotsa upos machine is a pos device that enables merchants to collect their payments at their outlets this handheld machine is an alternative to the normal pos machines in which the merchant enters the bill amount and the qr code for the for the corresponding amount is generated instantaneously the customer scans the qr code thus generated with any upi app and completes the payment the payment is instantly credited to the merchant's account good continue scan and pay scan and pay is a qr code based payment solution that allows customers to make payments at merchant outlets without using cash or cards upi okay. federal mm-hmm. bank is a member of the unified payments interface or upi which is a real time payment system that allows customers to make instant payments to merchants or other customers upi is available through the fed mobile next app and other upi and other apps Mm-hmm. Fed Mobile Next. Fed Mobile Next is a mobile banking app that offers a variety of features, including account management, fund transfers, bill payment, mobile wallet, QR code scanning, mobile recharge, ATM locator, and customer support. Very good. Now next, uh, Swati, please read transfer funds. Swati. Transfer funds. Yes, sir. NEFT NEFT National Electronic Funds Transfer is a real time electronic fund transfer system that allows customer to transfer fund funds from one bank account to another in India RTGS RTGS real time gross settlement is a real time interbank electronic fund transfer system that allows customers to transfer funds from one bank account to another in India Anywhere banking. Anywhere banking is a service that allows federal bank customers to access their bank accounts and transfer funds to any ATM in India. Electronic clearing service. ECS. ECS is a service that allows customers to automate their recurring payments such as utility bills and insurance premiums. Corporate Fed Mobile. Corporate Fed Mobile Bank. Mobile banking app is a corporate customers of Federal Bank. It offers a wide range of features, including account management, fund transfer, bill payments, and more. Federal Bank. Federal Bank's international money transfer service allows customers to send money to over two hundred countries and territories. Fed Trade. Federal Bank's online trade finance platform allows corporate customers to manage their trade transactions. FedScore, Federal Bank's internet banking platform for corporate customers. Payment yeah. and collection services. Collection please services. Mm, please, yes. please read. E-maintenance. E-maintenance is a service that allows customers to pay their maintenance bills online. E-fee. School fee collection services. E fee is a service that allows schools to collect fees from their students online. E collection. E collection is a service that allows businesses to collect payments from their customers online. Easy payments. Easy payments is a service that allows the customer to make a variety of payments online, such as utility bills, mobile charges, and insurance premiums. Telephone bill payment. Fed E pay. Fed ePay is a service that allows customers to pay their telephone bills online. Online and e-commerce service. Federal Bank also offers a variety of online and e-commerce services such as online shopping, travel booking and insurance purchase. Very good. Next, uh, Superno Sen. Please read. Yes. Sir. Uh, loans. 
Fed loan. This is a personal loan product that is available to customers who need money for any purpose. Fed car loan. This is a car loan product that is available to customers who want to purchase a new or used car. Fed home loan. This is a home loan product that is available to customers who want to purchase a new or existing home. Fed gold loan. This is a gold loan product that is available to customers who want to borrow money against their gold jewelry. SMS banking. SMS banking, Federal Bank offers SMS banking services to its customers. Customers can check their account balance, transfer funds and pay bills through SMS. Missed call banking service. Missed call banking services, Federal Bank offers missed call banking services to its customers. Customers can check their account balance, transfer funds and pay bills by giving a missed call to a designated number. Yeah. Oh, so mm, no, I think some more thing are there. It's a, oh, oh. Continue. Feddy. Feddy. Feddy is Federal Bank's AI powered chatbot that can help customers with their banking needs. Customers can chat with Feddy on the Federal Bank website or mobile app. Video KYC. Federal Bank offers video KYC services to its customers. Customers can open a bank account or apply for a loan online through video KYC. Instant loans. Federal Bank offers instant loans to eligible customers through its mobile banking app. Online DMAT account opening. We are the first ever bank in India to implement 60 seconds DMAT account opening without any documentation. Note, if any digital products are missed here, please refer to the website. Federal yeah, Bank. that's right. Good. So this is the details of um digital products you can remember about that and now one minute oh this one is federal bank folder i can go back now um, what else i wanted to see there is one this is the one raju and 40 thieves i think you i must have told you earlier a few days back this is a book. Can you tell me, Kavin Ram, what is this book? Kavin Ram, what is this book? Sir, it is a book of 40 thieves, sir. sir. It is by RBA. I have seen it in the folder, FBA folder, sir. Hmm. I haven't so read it, have you read it. You it. have not explained about it correctly. It is a book issued by RBI, correct? 40 Thieves, correct? What is it? It is about ombudsman schema, sir. I don't, I no, haven't no, read it. No, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. It's a booklet on, booklet on modus operandi of financial fraudsters about the phishing, mishing and all that. Okay. Here, these are the things that they have discussed. For example, uh, Kavin Ram, please read. What are the frauds they have discussed here? Please read number one, two, three, like that. Yes, sir. One, fraud through phishing links. Two, phishing calls. Three, fraud using online marketplaces. Four, credit card annual fee waiver pay offer. Five, ATM card skimming fraud. Six, fraud using screen sharing app. Remote access. Seven. Swim swap, sim cloning, eight frauds by compromising credentials through search engines, nine scam through QR code scan, ten. So, what is this QR code scan? What is that scan that can be done here? Sir, Seventeen. the QR codes of a company with them. Oh, Seventeen. It's placed in the outside of the stall, but they are replacing with the, their copy. Oh, cha -cha. They will put their own uh, QR code. Ah, there. Yeah, sir, yes, sir. Now it cannot be done properly, sir, because uh, they have, most of the shops are using sound box. If you pay means yeah. the sound boxes will tell what, so, how much amount no, no. you pay. No, no, but he is telling about an instance where yes, the QR code you have put is being taken away and they put some other QR code. Maybe that is how he is telling. Let me see. Oh. Now this 
What is the number? 17, na? 19, sir. That was 19? No, no. Fraud. No, no, we have not come up to... Achha, this was 17 page. There is number 9 scam. Yes, sir. Num number 9. I have to go to number 9. Number 9 means uh, this one. Uh, Mr. Kaviram, please read this. Raju. Yes, Raju registered his old car on an online website to sell it. Okay. Within hours, he was contacted by a person, a, fraud, a fraudster. 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 Okay. Fraudster. Hi, I saw your car advertisement on the platform. I really like it and I'm interested in buying your car. Okay. Raju, glad you like it. My car is excellent condition. I'm buying a new car, so I'm selling this one. I won't negotiate the price. Fraudster. Oh, don't worry about the price. I'm an army personnel and I am about to retire in a month. My son wants to purchase a car and he is insisting on buying this one only. Raju, that's great. I guess you want to check the car before buying it. Fraudster. Sure, we want to inspect the car, but before that, I will send you a token amount as I don't want to lose the offer. <laughs> See, I will send a token amount as I don't want to lose the offer. Do's. Please read do's. Okay, do's. Educate yourself about QR code before using them. Report the transaction immediately to your bank. Report the incident to the nearest cybercrime police station and national cyber cybercrime reporting portal at https cybercrime.gov.in Yeah. Raju. Raju. Okay, I will send you my account details. Please send a token amount of rupees 10,000 to Seal the deal. You can send the amount by Nifter or TGS. Fraudster, I got your details. I will transfer the amount now. Thank you. Raju again receives a call from the fraudster after 10 minutes. Fraudster, hello, I called you earlier. I have been trying to transfer the amount for the last 10 minutes, but I am unable to do so. Therefore, I will be sending you a QR code through email. Please scan the QR code so that I can send you the ammo. Raju, okay, no problem. I got the QR code. I will scan oh, oh. it. Here, he is sending a QR code. Achha. Yes. Please please read. Raju scans the QR code and receives a pop-up request for UPA PIN. Hmm. I have scanned the UPA QR code, but it is asking for my UPA PIN to proceed further. Roster, this is correct. You must enter your UPA PIN to receive the money. Hmm. Raju believed him and entered his UPI pin. Subsequently, his account got debited with rupees 70,000. Raju received the SMS allow, among a lot of for debit. He panicked, so he tried calling the fraudster, but his phone was switched off by then. Don'ts. Don'ts. Don't enter your UPI pin to receive money from another person. UPI pin is secured only for sending a payment, not for receiving. Don't scan QR codes to receive any payment. QR code needs to be scanned for sending a payment, not receiving for money. Correct. So that is the basic thing, you know, we must be thorough with that. Many of us uh, may not be thorough with that. That is why these problems are happening. And of course, you know, it depends. Even this book is very are, interesting, sir. We didn't yeah, we, know about this book. Yeah, we are very alert, but sometimes we commit mistakes. Now, please read number six. Yes, sir. Six. Fraud using screen sharing app, remote access. Correct. Seven. Seven. Swim swap, sim cloning. Uh -huh. Fraud by compromising credentials through search engines. Nine. Scam through QR code scan. Ten. Impersonation. Impersonation through social media. Impersonation 11. means um, uh, acting as some other person. Pretending is, to be someone else. Yeah, pretending to someone else. Pretending to be someone else. Correct. Number 12. 11. Juice jacking, stealing of oh. data through charging cable. What is that? Very interesting. I don't know. Stealing sir, of uh, data. Even it was mentioned in today's headlines, sir, which you had even shared about it. 
what is Just some access. some of the cafes are providing free wifi yes so but not even wifi it is like charging points provided by cafes for like maybe airports uh, using oh acha acha uh, yeah yeah one thing uh, i read today in a newspaper stating that we should not uh, recharge our mobiles by using this private uh, charging stations that's what you are telling actually we can charge through yes, adapter sir. sir we cannot charge directly with a usb cable to them sir oh ho no whatever it is it is better to avoid getting it charged through private ones so instead it is advisable for us to have a what is that um, some something which stores the power, uh, power, power bank power bank power bank i am not getting that word power bank good now uh, next um, uh, 12 lottery fraud yeah 13 online job fraud 14 fake account number 15 fraud through email 16 next this was this was yes. continue 16 16 message app banking fraud 17 fraudulent loans with stolen documents 18 betting scam 19 fake vaccination call 20 covid testing fake online site 21 Fraudsters in the pretext of recovery agents. Twenty-two social welfare scheme fraud. Ah, twenty-three. So this is know. again another thing happening. Today's newspaper it has come. You know, mm, a a person got a call uh, from um, purporting to be from the uh, say orphanage. The caller told. Sir, I am so and so calling from so and so orphanage. We have got about forty children and about thirty old people. We are feeding them and all. Please, um, uh, please give donations. Then they started with five thousand, ten thousand. Later on, they agreed for thousand. It seems the person it before giving, he said, "Okay, you give me your address, then I will send it." then the the person thought that um, okay so he sent an address and after receiving the address this person who was about to be cheated he visited that place and when he visited that place he found uh, there was no orphanage or old age home but uh, only a call center a, a ruthless fellow has been conducting a call center he is engaging about 15 to 20 boys and girls who are being directed to make fake phone calls and to receive money from others so here after we should be alert we should not send the money just because a phone call is received from orphanage and all so that is what that social welfare scheme fraud no social welfare scheme fraud may be something else social welfare scheme will be like say um so for example this 1000 rupees for women so that 1000 rupees is you have applied madam you are there is some problem kindly tell me your otp this thing that thing they will take the uh, details and take away the money continue 23 23 multi level marketing scams mlm 24 work from home scam 25 online shopping fraud 26 fraud using public wifi mm. 27 fake advertisements or offers 28 fake loan offer 29 credit card activation fraud 30 credit card limit upgradation fraud 31 safe guarding your aadhar card 32 Online fraud using cashback offers. Thirty-three, discount fraud. Thirty-four, charity frauds. Thirty-five, overdraft against FD. Thirty-six, frauds using malicious application. Thirty-seven, illegal loan financing apps with ex ex exorbitant interest rates and harassment tactics. This is the 30. very one minute. This is the very worst thing. it seems some american sorry chinese companies they um, they give the uh, loan just based on your what is that uh, aadhar card i was told by a candidate of my own group 
he, he was a student and uh, he needed some money urgently and uh, this uh, a loan company like this they came online and gave him say uh, 10000 rupees loan or um, after getting his pan card and aadhar card details and after giving the money after one week or 10 days they started troubling him come on you have to repay now and all that and uh, they started telling they will send the message to his uh, uh, friends because they would have taken all the details of say his friends and all they would have taken note of so they uh, they will send details about this loan taken and if still he is not repaying they will send some uh, useless pictures and all to his uh, known people so that he is feeling bad about it so that type of frauds are also happening especially by um, the chinese companies 38 38 card cloning at merchant outlets 39 fraud through details shared with a known person or family or relatives 40 payments proving applications so this is what it is i request those who are doing computer to go through all these things and also engineers you can go through this to know what it is that will be useful good okay. then next one is um, updated gdp and other it's it was a posted some 10 one month back now things would have revised subsequently also no sir, but whether uh, the result of federal bank released is sir which one uh, federal bank they have released I mean for gd and all they are releasing every day every day no, they sir, are uh, uh, i am asking for the total profit like uh, and that has GNPA. not come Financial. that has, that has not come that has not come okay. now from 16th they are going to conduct the interview for federal bank scale 2 managers 90 people have been called for interview throughout the okay. country out of which two or three people are with us so 16th is the uh, like pivo they are recruiting in scale 2 also so 90 people have been called possibly they may select about 20 out of them and um, other interviews they are getting delayed for reasons i don't know maybe they have some practical problems because of year ending work and all lot of work will be there now maybe sir, after that uh, again. yeah sir for the clerk interview that is for us when will they start that's what i am telling because the clerk interviews for people who have done gd on february 22nd is still pending okay that is why you have so many people here otherwise in our my class everybody will be there for maximum 3 days be before that the interview will come and they will go but this is the first time where interviews are happening after 2 months nearly one and a half time in our hand to prepare right that is true that is true Okay. but but because you have time you people don't read that is a problem huh? yeah. <laughs> sir uh, i have read on news sir yeah in coimbatore there is a famous uh, uh, theater sir central theater in uh, mm-hmm. in my childhood it was a very famous theater it mm-hmm. has been seized by the federal bank by because of not uh, paying the loan amount and oh. now it has been sold by sold in auction by federal bank to the broadway cinemas acha good 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 very good you can use this information if you go for an interview and a discussion comes about repayment collection npa and all then you can use this information that you have studied good like that only you must be going through newspapers and reports to know because sometimes they ask in the federal bank what is the latest news you have heard about federal bank but in that don't tell certain negative news for example once the federal bank was fined some 1 crore or so for some discrepancy by rbi do not tell such negative things understand okay. Okay. tell only positive things very good now this is the entire thing that has been given to you and this is another 
nowadays based on the way the trend of questions are going on this is what is very important for you general questions most common questions not related to topic so you please go through that also okay that's all very good now where are we now um, what is spelling sir, of fishing uh, tell me today i went to federal bank sir acha good viswa kaviram kaviram no, kaviram kavira. tell kaviram tell yes sir i went to federal bank kuniyamuthur branch ha huh. there are two po officers and a senior manager and hmm. apart from that there are four clerical staff sir hmm and it can uh, separate uh, cabin for gold loans and uh, uh, neft rtgs it is a separate cabin and mm -hmm. they have a complaint box and also have a check box to drop or check i think mm -hmm. the, good they have, they have a locker room i mm -hmm. haven't allowed to see that but i have seen the title of that room mm -hmm. from the did you talk to clerks or officers i talked to a po officer sir see he is in a loan department and i mm. talked to him he mm. also joined through the through this campus recruitment process sir mm -hmm. good he said me to uh, prepare on yourself and uh, be confident with your speech that's mm. what they expect and uh, ready to uh, ready to join wherever they are uh, Uh, posting you. That's what they need. That's all he said. He is from which state, that boy? He is from one. He one of the people is from uh, Kerala, and another one is from Coimbatore. Oh, very good, excellent. Uh, he also said uh, they have opened. Federal Bank has opened new twenty eight branches, so there may be a chance of posting in uh, Tamil Nadu itself. So mm. uh, try to speak yourself in interview and be confident. That's what he said, sir. Hmm. They may ask you to speak in Tamil also. Oh, okay, sir. Very really good. That's right. Good. Did you talk to the manager? A senior manager. He is not available, sir. When I went at eleven a.m., he is oh, okay. not there. He was not there. Ah, uh, he was not there. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. Sir, so, uh, oh. I had an issue, sir. Can I discuss? Yeah. Sir, that is uh, after clearing the GD, they told us to upload certain documents in the document upload form, and over there they said that you have to upload class ten, class twelve mark sheet, and all of the semester year wise mark sheet. Only problem is that I have every documents with me, but my semester four mark sheet is lost. That means I don't have the original mark sheet. I have the uh, computer downloaded form of the mark sheet. So will that it will be a problem? You 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 load with that now. Okay, when you go for the interview, before that, can you try to get one more duplicate of that? Or it yeah, 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 definitely. I'm trying. I have approached my colleagues, but they said that it will take one week time. So in the meantime, if this scheduled the interview, so interview will now. take minimum fifteen days. Don't worry. Okay, minimum fifteen days now. Yeah, from now onwards, because the way they are going very slowly. At least ten to fifteen days it will take. You apply for the duplicate and come. Otherwise, uh, they will allow you because other details are there, na. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, all of that. And I suggest, uh, if you are not getting a revised a new one duplicate, yeah. you yeah. take a print out of the copy whatever you are having. Yeah. Get it attested by your professor or lecturer. Okay. Okay. That that may have some weightage. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. So I I I have applied for the college and they said it will take oh, like minimum five or uh, five to seven days. So let it I let can... it take five or seven days. But okay. before if before that your interview will not come. If it comes before that, okay. You tell them, sir, the original has not come, but I have to go for interview tomorrow. Please attest this as okay. true copy. That will do. They will do it. Okay, sir. So, uh, and right. sir, is there any last date to this document upload for? Normally three days. Normally three days. That is three working days. Okay. Okay, sir. That is okay, tomorrow, sir. Monday, and Tuesday. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. But again, you know, lot of holidays are coming because of yeah, yeah, yeah. Eid is there and all sort of stuff. So many holidays. Then Ramzan also is coming. Yeah. So many. Very good. So thank you so much. We will stop with this now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
8 30 pm tomorrow in the meantime you'll be reading something more like this i will ask questions at random then uh, you can answer them only only mm -hmm. thing is for the newcomers let me tell you the questions will be based on yourself your wife your um, your bio data then your native place your family your college your likes your your strengths your achievements then um, about your subject rarely then about banking related basic questions then about current affairs that's all this is how the interview will go so there then, is only one round of interview not two three rounds you know they will conduct only one round but okay. i will conduct two interviews for you first interview i will find what are the, what is the improvement you have to make then based okay. on that i will give i will take another interview also okay sir okay thank you bye thank you so much sir bye 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 sir thank you sir thank you sir bye bye